What's up guys, it's Vic here, back from another Madden 20 video, and as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding Danny Dimes himself with the New York Giants, but I don't plan on using Danny Dimes if he doesn't progress after the first season, and the Giants have been having a lot of problems ever since 2016. They haven't made the playoffs since 2016, and then lost in the playoffs in the first round in the wild card, I believe it was. But DeAndre Baker, their defensive back, who they just drafted last year in the first round, did, I don't think he got arrested, but there is a warrant out for his arrest for armed robbery and stuff like that. But um, yeah, other than that note, let's, uh, let's get into the rebuild. Starting off, we obviously have our quarterback, Danny Dimes, here. And... Again, like I said at the beginning, Daniel Jones, if he does not progress and get at least star development by the end of the season, we will not use him as a quarterback. 69 overall, normal development, 80 speed, even though he's considered a scrambler. Our god squad, freaking running back, Saquon Barkley, Golden Tate here, Sterling Shepard as well, and Darius Slayton here, not Darius Slay. Um, we're going to start Sterling Shepard as well, and... Andrew Thomas, the Giants picked him at pick number four in the draft this year, so I'm going to move him to star development because I think he at least deserves that. I thought they were going to pick Tristan Wirfs, but it's okay. Evan Ingram here, he's very injury prone in real life, but not very injury prone, but he is injury prone, but thankfully injuries are turned off. We have Dexter Lawrence here and BJ Hill. We're going to move to right outside linebacker, even though that's pretty unrealistic because I think he's a little bit slow for the position. I don't know that for a fact, though. So, other than that, this team does need some rebuilding, obviously, as they do also have Xavier McKenning picked in the second round. I'm going to definitely move him to star development because he is probably the best safety in the class. And I think he was the only, he was the first safety taken at pick number, what was it, 36 by the Giants, I believe it was. Pick number four in the second round, so 36. And. Other than that, this team looks overall solid to me, though I, we may switch to a 4-6 because the D-line is a lot better than I thought. And yes, here is DeAndre Baker. Again, armed robbery, stuff like that. Pretty uh, annoying for the Giants to do that, to pick a player in the first round, and then that's a happen. But anyways, Aldrich Rosas is here. Pretty, pretty great kicker. I'm going to move Darius Slayton up to punt returner and special looks. Specialist looks okay to me now. And other than that, it is time to start getting to the trades. For our first trade, we have Leonard Williams, Golden Tate, James Bradbury for a first and a first from the Bengals. Leonard Williams took up $4.2 million in cap. Golden Tate took up $7.8 million. James Bradbury took up, uh, took up like $12 million something. Either way, their cap rooms are very, very high. Next, we have Nate Solder and David Mayo for a six-round pick from the Lions. Not a six-round pick. Pick number, projected pick number six. That's my bad. Next, we have Blake Martinez and Corey Coleman for a first round pick from the Packers. Both of them, again, just more cap situations. Now, back, back at it again, looking over the team. We didn't trade for any players, so we just traded for picks. So, obviously, the team's going to look worse as we went from 77 overall to a 74 overall. But, obviously, we are going to improve that as the year goes on. So, as, as you go, all can sell, it is time to get into the midseason mark. Here in the midseason mark, as we are 4-4, four and four, coming off a loss to the Detroit Lions, 28-17. to 17. So, we are third in the division, as the Eagles are leading the division. And we have players to resign here, such as Dalvin Tomlinson, Aldrich Rosas. Dalvin Tomlinson, I definitely want to keep around. I'll just give him a huge extension to make sure he signs with us, and he... Wants more money, so we're going to give him that later. Aldrich Rosas is not worth this. I can pick him up cheaper for a kicker and free agency. And other than that, there's nobody else here that I'm really interested in, as apparently the CPU signed Everson Griffin. Probably won't re-sign him either. So on that note, it is time to get into the playoffs. Here in the playoffs, as we come off a loss to the Philadelphia Eagles, 34-7, to we finish... Third in the division, finishing 5-10-1, not making the playoffs, obviously. Daniel Jones, over 4,000 yards, 28 touchdowns. Had an eh season, offense 13th, defense 31st. Daniel Jones, if he doesn't get the development upgrade, then I'm not keeping him. Barkley had a great season. Darius Slayton had a pretty good season. 
Defensively, Jabril Peppers with the most tackles. Tackles for a loss goes to Dalvin Tomlinson. Sacks goes to Kyle Fackrell, I believe it is. Uh, three interceptions for Julian Love. And safeties, zero. Defensive touchdowns, zero. It's pretty interesting how Julian Love has three touchdowns, even though he's his second string free safety. But other than that, it is time to get into the offseason. In the offseason here, we have Dalvin Tomlinson as the Eagles win the Super Bowl to the Patriots 28-21. to That's a pretty interesting Super Bowl in my opinion as I guess it's two years later they would come back and win it again. But anyways, yes, Dalvin Tomlinson is here. We're going to bump up his salary by .2 more and he resigns. Again, everyone else here not interested though Ever Everson Griffin is here and I kind of want him at the same time. Never mind, he wants almost 10 mil a year, even though he's not worth that. So, yeah, it is time to get into free agency. But before we do that, we need a team to look at to see if Daniel Jones... Nope, Daniel Jones did not get that development, development upgrade, sadly, as Darius Slayton is only a star development. So we will be moving on from Daniel Jones. And everyone else here doesn't look like they got development upgrade. I'm probably going to move Julian Love to cornerback, but other than that, it is time to get into free agency. After free agency, this is what the team looks like. As you can obviously see, we have Juju Smith-Schuster, a big, big pickup in free agency. And defensively, we got Chibie Awuzie, and everyone else here uh, looks pretty good other than Ward. We also got him, so yeah, and I'm going to cut this punter because we don't need him. We don't need that second string punter. So other than that, it is time to get into the draft. In the draft, our first pick, we picked at number four. He's ranked number seven middle linebacker, Hudson Maline, I believe it is. 76 overall. Next, we have a defensive tackle, Tyson Little. We picked him at number five, ranked number five, 77 overall, hidden development. Pretty good pick in my opinion, six foot seven as well. Next, this is what the team looks like after the draft as we picked up Eli Smith in the late first round because that's what he was projected as, another Eli starting as a Giants quarterback. And we also picked up Tyson Little, as you can see, and the middle linebacker. And Eli Apple I also picked up in free agency since nobody picked him up. Hopefully we can actually pick him up for cheaper in free agency at the end of the season. But it's time to get into the midseason mark. Anyways, at the midseason mark, we are 5-3. Coming off a win to the 49ers, 21-23, to as we were second in the division, right behind the Washington Redskins. And we have players to resign, such as Eli Apple and Will Hernandez here. Will Hernandez, I'm going to give him the big extension, and he does resign with us right off the bat. Eli Apple, I'm not willing to pay him that much, and he's not even that good in real life. Randy Gregory, no. Grant Haley... I can get him from cheaper in free agency. Lorenzo Carter is definitely someone I want back. Pretty cheap for his position and his development and his overall. And he resigns BJ Hill I don't want. And everyone else here I have no interest for. So, yeah, I think that's going to basically end it off for this midseason part. So it's time to get into the playoffs. As we make the playoffs for the first round by coming off a win to the Saints, 42-35. to As we win the division, 13-3 and with our record. As Eli Smith had a pretty solid season, nothing amazing. It's more like a eh, fourth best defense and fourth best offense. And that was obviously carried by, carried by Barkley. Eli Smith, only four interceptions, which is pretty great in my opinion. And Saquon Barkley had a great season. Darius Slayton had a solid season. Defensively... Uh, our rookie middle linebacker with the most tackles, Lorenzo Carter with 14 tackles for a loss. Sacks, 7.5 for Lorenzo Carter. Interceptions, 3 for our m new middle linebacker. Safeties, 0. No, safeties, 1 for O'Shane Zimenez and 0 defensive touchdowns. So, apart from that, it is time to get into the divisional round. I'm going to simulate the divisional round because we're only in the 2020 season. It's not that big of a deal right now. And we are playing the Detroit Lions, who are 10-6, and six, as we are 13-3. and three. So hopefully we can win this one. Uh, the Detroit Lions in the playoffs, that's kind of weird to say to me. But sorry for any Detroit Lions fans out there. But other than that, let's start simulating this. And if we could win this, I will hop into the NFC Championship game. And we do, know, we do not win it losing 28 to 24 as our middle linebacker got a player of the week 
But other than that, it is time to get into the offseason. In the offseason here, as the Lions and Patriots are in the Super Bowl and the Lions lose the Super Bowl, and that's the first time ever in history the Lions have made the Super Bowl. And Eli Apple is here, everyone else here. Yeah, again, I don't want any of those guys. Probably can pick them up cheaper for in free agency. So, other than that, this team looks pretty great as Eli Smith has superstar development. And I'm pretty sure he did not get that from the season he just had. And he has Leapfrog and ju Jukebox. So, he has 90 speed as well. That guy is fast. Dang. And everyone else here looks pretty good to me. The O-line does look good. Again, Darius Slay needs to be moved up. Defensively, any developments? No. Our defensive tackle middle linebacker only had star development. So it is time to get into free agency. Now, before we get into free agency, we are trading Daniel Jones in a six-round pick for the Bears first. Again, Daniel Jones, not again, but Daniel Jones, we don't need him. He takes seven mil in cap. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the team here after free agency, as you can see. And we picked up Orlando Brown Jr., which was really our only pickup. And, yeah, that's about it. So it's time to get into the draft. This is what the team looks like after the draft, as we picked up a quarterback in the third round for kicks and giggles. And apparently, he was good. And we picked up a rotational offensive lineman, outside linebacker, another middle linebacker, because I was just picking best player available. There wasn't, there wasn't many edge players there. But other than that, it is time to get into the midseason. At the midseason, here we are, about to face the 7-1 Eagles as we are 5-2, third in the division with a very highly contested division coming off a loss to the Panthers. And Evan Ingram is here and he wants to be re-signed. So, yeah, we're going to give him a contract if this will load. And, yep, he re-signs. Jabril Peppers is also here. And we'll just give him that, yep. He also resigns with Evan Ingram. Kevin Zeitler is here. Give him a two-year deal. He does not resign. He wishes for more salary. Xavier McKenning should not be here. His contract needs to be extended to the right amount because, again, the roster I downloaded did not have the right amount for the rookies. So it is time to get into the playoffs. And we missed out on the playoffs coming off a loss to the Cowboys, 24-17. to As we had a first-round bye last year, now we missed the playoffs, finishing 8-8. Eight and eight, As Eli Smith had a solid season, nothing insane. 8th in offense, 7th in defense. And Barkley had a pretty good season, well, an, a solid season. 13 interceptions, a little bit too much. Barkley had a pretty good season, actually. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster had a good season as well defensively Jabril Peppers most tackles tackles for a loss goes to Delvin Tomlinson with 15 sacks it goes to seven for Dexter Lawrence interceptions two for our rookie no our second year middle linebacker safeties zero defensive touchdowns one for Chibie Wuzie, probably a pick six and other than that it is time to get into the offseason hopefully we can get some good free agents here in the offseason as the Baltimore Ravens beat the Philadelphia Eagles 31 to 24 in the 2021 season and Kevin Zeitler is here we will plan to resign him so I'm going to bump up his salary and he still doesn't accept how much is it to franchise tag this man it is 12.8 million and no thank you I will not do that as I'll just pick him up probably for cheaper in free agency so yeah let's get into that but before we do this is what the team looks like looking at development upgrades as Darius Slayton does get a development upgrade and our outside linebacker middle linebacker is just star development so other than that it is time to get into free agency in free agency well actually after free agency this is what the team looks like as you can see we picked up James Daniels I believe that is and Vita Vea as well and nobody else other than some depth cornerbacks so it is time to get into the draft and we're going all in this year like I said we're going all in this year for a first a three and a six for 96 overall Fletcher Cox from the Philadelphia Eagles and we can also take on his cap so it's pretty cool next we have Julio Jones straight up for a first round pick from the Atlanta Falcons 89 overall superstar x-factor so this is a huge pickup to go along with Juju Smith-Schuster. Next, we have a second round pick and another second round pick for J.J. Watt from the 
Texans, and yeah, that's this season's gonna be pretty insane with these two edge rushers. Now here we are with Juju Smith-Schuster and Julio Jones, a double, a double-headed dragon here with a double-headed dragon on defense as well with Fletcher Cox and J.J. Watt, and Dexter Lawrence as a second string, which sounds pretty insane to me. But other than that, it is time to get into the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are 6-1, coming off a win to the Vikings, 38-21, as we are leading the division, as it's not tight as it used to be. We were about to face the Chicago Bears, but we have players to resign, but again, I don't need to resign any of them, because this is the final year of the rebuild, so I'm not going to do that, and let's just jump straight into the playoffs. And into the playoffs as we have first round by coming off a win to the Detroit Lions 24 to 17 and we finish 12 and 4 as the Cowboys are 9 and 7 right behind us. Eli Smith had actually a pretty good season, fourth most touchdowns in the NFL, fourth best defense, no, 13th best defense, fourth best offense. Eli Smith good again. Barkley had a great season. Receiving wise Juju Smith had a good season. Uh, defensively, our middle linebacker, most tackles, tackles for loss goes to Fletcher Cox, sacks, 14 for J.J. Watt, interceptions, 2 for Jabril Peppers, and safeties, 0, defensive touchdowns, 0. So let's just jump straight in to, to this, and before we actually do that, instead of jumping straight into this, let's just uh, let the computer auto-sim it, and we're going to simulate into the divisional round so yeah and we were playing the Chicago Bears so let's jump into it here in the third quarter for the Chicago Bears it is tied 21 to 21 as we are entering the fourth quarter 28 to 21 we have a field goal to kick we get it 28 to 24 we drive back down the field 38 28 not 28 31 and I gotta hop into this to make sure that we actually win this game so other than that, I will see you guys in the end game. In the end game, we are showing the highlight clips here. And as you guys can see, I did come out with the win with 31 to 28 as Daniel Jones is on the Chicago Bears. I completely forgot about that, but he had a good season. Anyways, after we beat Daniel Jones 31 to 28, and he had four touchdowns and a great season for the Bears, so okay, Madden Sim, I guess that's how it works now. But we we're facing the 10 and 6 New Orleans Saints, so let's jump straight into this one. And as we are here in the first quarter, it is three to nothing, and I'm kind of wondering who their quarterback is because I'm assuming Drew Brees did retire, as it is three to seven, three to 14 as well. Now and. It's about to be 21. Nope, it is 3 to 17. 24 to 3 as we continue to pour it on the Saints. 31 to 3. I don't think we can choke this away. I think that's going to be the game. 3 to 38, 10 to 38. We are almost done with the fourth quarter. I'm just going to keep spamming this. 10 to 41 will be your final score and that will be your ball game as a random computer generated quarterback is their quarterback so the Saints quarterback was computer generated so that did answer my question but we are here facing the New Orleans not new not the New Orleans Saints I was about to say New Orleans Saints. we're here to face the Pittsburgh Steelers who are 11 and 5 and let's just jump straight into it here in the Super Bowl it is three to nothing as we just score three to seven we are up and we get in the red zone again three to fourteen and I don't think I'm worried about this. Yep, and it's 21-3. to 3. I think we're going to be good for this game. And I think that will probably end up the Super Bowl. I'm probably going to jinx it. And it's probably going to be like the Falcons and the Patriots, and we're going to choke really hard. Nope, it is 10-31, to 31, it, ending out the fourth quarter. What will the final score be as we're kind of stuck right now? And we almost scored again, but we didn't. It is 10-31 to 31 is your final score as the New York Giants beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl in the fourth season so let's get to the MVP your MVP is Eli Smith over 300 yards two touchdowns one interception 78.1 completion rate so other than that guys I hope you guys enjoyed the rebuild as we did end up winning the Super Bowl and I just want to thank everybody for watching the video and making it this far into the video so again I hope 
I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day because I personally enjoyed this rebuild. My next rebuild will be on the Jacksonville Jaguars who drafted Caleb on Chase on in the first round and I will be rebuilding the team based around Caleb on Chase on. But anyways, this is what the final team looks like after the Super Bowl. Obviously a Super Bowl winning team and yeah, so other than, other than our cornerbacks, I think we had an overall great team. And again, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.